Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with a reading vlog for you of the highest rated books on my TBR. So I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted an MM romance reading vlog or a highest rated books reading vlog and you guys voted for the highest rated books, so I have four. Hopefully I get these done in the next three days because it is the 21st that I'm filming this and so on Monday the 23rd I'm heading to my parents house for the entire Christmas week basically so it's gonna be christmas time i'm baking cookies we're finishing up wrapping our presents and obviously spending christmas together so it's gonna be a busy week so i'm hoping to finish these first and i have four really good books that i'm excited for to share with you miss lily is down here hi baby you're so pretty see your face yes Okay, so all of these books are rated 4.48 or higher. Now, hopefully I have this figured out because I did buy a new computer and I've been using my MacBook from 2011 that I got before I went to college and the storage capacity was completely full so I couldn't download any updated versions of anything so my iMovie was super outdated so I just used QuickTime to edit. So I could never do fun editing things or even put pictures in my videos. So this will be my first video that I'm editing on my new computer. I did get a MacBook Air with like the second biggest um, storage and so hopefully I can put in pictures so instead of holding up my iPad which I do in every video and it gets a glare hopefully I can have a photo right here so the first book that I started um well yeah okay so it is actually the highest rated on this list and I have seen Chandler from Chandler Ainsley and Gabby from my fictional world talk about this book and it is Hopefully it's up here right now. Someday Someday by Emma Scott. This one is actually an MM book and I have two MM books on this list. And this has a, I don't know if I said 4.59 rating on Goodreads. It recently came out so two of these are pretty recent releases so I think that's why it has such high ratings. And this one is between two guys who are recovering narcotic addicts. So they go to NA Anonymous and the one guy who's actually a ER nurse, he um, is recovered so he's there as a sponsor and the other guy is also recovered but like newly like six months recovered so he's still trying to like deal with his issues and so that's all I want to say about the plot because I literally went in completely blind so I didn't even know like what it was about I just knew it was a very serious read from what Chandler had talked about so that's all I know so far I really don't want to give away anything else about the plot I'm 12% in I read it at the gym this morning and oh boy is it so good I didn't want to stop reading and so I wanted to film this now before I went more into it so that I could not give everything away but I am loving it so far because they're very both damaged people and both of them come from homes that pretty much disown them for being gay so definite trigger warnings if you are sensitive to that topic at all but I'm really enjoying it I'm so excited to see them actually start liking each other um, because they just met so very excited for that the next highest rated book is Heartbreak Warfare by Heather Orgeron Org and Kate Stewart. This one, all I know is a military romance. Now again, I like going to my books blind, so I'm not going to tell you what this is about um, at all, except for I know it is military, and this has a 4.52 rating. And this one's been out for quite a while. I won this in a giveaway, that's why I have it, and it came out in 2018, so I guess not too long ago, just over a year ago. But I really want to read this and I wanted to read it for a while now because I've seen such good reviews for it but I feel like no one talks about this one. I don't think I've heard anybody talk about having read this and loved it. It just has really good reviews on Goodreads. The last two are actually tied with a 4.48 rating. Now this one, I don't know when this one came out but I did get it as a Christmas gift from Chandler. Oh this came out this year. Wow how did I not know this came out this year? Unless it came out before and it just this one came out. I don't know. It is Wolf Song by TJ Klune. Like I said, Chandler sent this to me because she loves this book. And this one is a werewolf MM romance. And that's all I know. I'm pretty sure TJ Klune, though, is a male author, which is actually really exciting because I don't read any romance male authors. So I'm very excited to see how this turns out. They meet when they're young. I knew that. I don't know anything about it so I just know that there are werewolves and this is a series and Lacey also from Book Lovers for Life loves this series so um there's three I think or two and the third one's coming out but I have to read this very excited though it's a chunker it's almost 500 pages but 
I'm very excited to read this one. And the last one coming at 4.48 is The Guy on the Left by Kate Stewart. I love The Guy on the Right. This one is about a character in there who was his roommate and it is a second chance. I know he has a child and I'm pretty sure he didn't know about the child and that's why he wasn't in the child's life and I think there was an age gap. I think he like lied to her about his age too. So lots of drama and angst I am pretty sure and I adored the first book. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing all of us booktubers talk about how good The Guy on the Left right was. So The Guy on the Left I'm very excited for. I think it's because it's new that it's got such a high rating um, or it could be just because people love it. So those are the four books I want to read and so I have uh, quite a bit to get done today. I have to finish Reading Forbidden by uh, Beverly Jenkins for the Ravished by Romance book club and then I'm free to read whatever I want and I'm praying like maybe I'll be so into Someday Someday by Emma Scott that I'll finish it tonight but I literally fall asleep before 10 o'clock every night reading because I'm a grandma and can't stay up late but it is officially my Christmas break so I don't need to go to bed early even though my body makes me so I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff done film a couple videos and get to reading <gasps> hi Miss Lily we gotta turn on the Christmas tree with a pumpkin <laughs> squeaky toy. There we go. Is that Miss Lily? Yes. Why? Where's Darcy? Darcy Boo. There's Darcy. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. So my sister is currently reading this giant book. And I've only read book one. Why did she grab a bone, silly? I, let me turn the camera to me. So I just went to dinner at my cousin's house, um, brought over dinner for them, saw their little two-year-old. And then I, um, well, I've only read about, let me see the fabric on there. I've only read about 25% more of Someday Someday, but it's so good. I'm gonna keep on reading and I would probably read like all night if I didn't have my live show. Um, it's at nine tonight, it's so late, but Lacey's on the West Coast, so she is uh, three hours behind, so I have to stay up until 10 p.m. on the computer, but it's fine. Here, there you go, okay. Her toy was stuck, but um, it's really, really, really good. The uh, chemistry between them, you're just like, oh, because one of them is being super stubborn because he's like, I I have a theory about what's happening like at home because his dad's sick, so that's why he's in um, Seattle, but uh, he got a text and I was like, oh my gosh, but I can't tell you anything more, but I'm really loving it and I'm going to continue on. And that's really all I have to update you with. So, yeah, my puppies are being super cute. <laughs> Ms. Lil. Ignore the laundry. It's laundry day. They're so cute. Hey guys, it's Sunday and I am just checking in with you. I read not a lot last night. I fell asleep reading, of course, and I read a lot this morning though and I went to the gym this morning. So I have gotten about 60% of the way through, so I'm on page 230 and it's so good still. I'm loving it. I don't want to tell you anything else to like spoil it or anything, but... It's so good. They both really deal with uh, problems with their family about how they feel about them being gay and feeling guilty about liking each other. It's so cute. It's so slow burn angsty build up that is just I'm dying over and I love it. So I am going to finish it today. Definitely. I do have dinner at my parents tonight. Miss Lily just came in. She's adorable. But yeah. I'm gonna read it, finish it tonight, and update you guys later, and hopefully start Heartbreak Warfare next. That's probably when we start next, so yeah. That's all I have right now. Miss Lily. Miss Lily. Hello. Hi guys, I have Miss Lily in the background, my Christmas tree in the background. It is Monday the 23rd, and I actually already finished Someday Someday by Emma Scott, and I'm giving it five stars. I did think the end dragged a little bit, but it was very necessary dragging. Like, it was super important to get the scenes we did. And I really enjoyed how the author tackled very serious topics. She had an author note at the back. She tackles conversion therapy. She tackles the opioid crisis and just a lot about how hard it is to be gay in public and how 
you can't hold hands with each other without thinking of how everyone else is looking at you. That's not the case for every gay person, obviously, but the couple in here, one's a very public figure, and the other one is openly gay, but his parents don't accept him. And so they're like, we can't even hold hands in public without thinking what other people are thinking. And so that was really sad to read. It just, whew, that was a very heavy, heavy book. But the romance was so good. The chemistry between them was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And we also have a character with Asperger's, which I know in my last video I talked about it, Asperger's isn't really a word used anymore. It's now um, typically high-functioning autistic. Um, I personally don't know anybody close to me with autism, so I am not well-versed in that terminology. Um, obviously, I teach at a high school, and we do have autistic students, but they don't go around talking about what they're labeled as because they're just autistic that's just what it is and so i'm not 100 percent sure what the uh label for that is but our main character's brother is autistic and he was one of my favorite characters of the whole book i loved him so much and i loved how important he was to the plot so um definitely definitely read someday someday by emma scott it was amazing definitely worth the high ratings that it has on goodreads the next book i am reading is heartbreak warfare i am about 40 pages in and i'm very concerned because i know there's a love triangle and actually both our female and male character are in the military together but she is married with a six-year-old at home and i know she's gonna fall in love with this other guy that she's in the military with so um it's gonna be taboo uh i know a couple of people have already messaged me on instagram about it saying that they loved it so i'm very nervous but i think it's gonna be good it's gonna be very very angsty and i hope that the author kate stewart which i'm also didn't even realize that i'm reading two of her books for this video but the authors there's two um Hopefully they tastefully deal with the cheating. So we'll see about that. Right now they're still in the military and I think something bad is gonna happen and that's why they kind of like connect with each other. Um, so I'm just waiting for that. But I also have read 100 pages of The Guy on the Left because um, I read it yesterday at my parents' house and I read it at the gym this morning. And while I was getting ready this morning, like blow drying my hair and stuff. And it is so good so far and I think I might like it even better than book one. So uh, yeah. And I don't know what I told you about before, but Troy, knew about the baby but she was horrified when she heard out he was in high school he lied to her she was a first year teacher and he said he was a fourth year and she took it as oh you're like four years into teaching and he lied so he wasn't actually four years into teaching he was four years at the high school because he was a senior but he was 19 and so she was like you are literally never in my life ever again ever and so he has been around and he's like given her money and like watched over her but she's denied taking any of the money and so he now has moved in next door and so he's starting to be more part of the life of their son dante as like the friend next door and kind of trying to earn his place as his dad so I love it so freaking much. I think I like it better than book one. I love Troy. I love Dante. Clarissa makes sense. And like typically second chance, I know some people say they don't like it because like why'd you mess up in the first place? But like he didn't. Well, he kind of did mess up. But it wasn't his fault that he wasn't allowed back in her life. So I'm loving it so far. Like I said, 100 pages and I'm 25% of the way through. This one's a long one, but I'm enjoying it. I am heading to my parents house today for the next six days so the background is going to be very different because I'm going to be there. Hopefully I can vlog some because my mom's off all week too so I won't be home alone but I'll try to sneak in some vlog for you and then finish these before Friday which is the Kindle Unlimited Readathon. So yep I'm going to go. I have some stuff to do before I leave but yeah. Is Lily going to say goodbye? Yes. Hello. What? You're so pretty. Okay bye. Hi guys, I am briefly home alone and my parents went out to drop something off at my aunt's house so I'm home alone. So that means that I can uh, vlog. We have the presents under the tree. We have all of our stockings. I'm uploading a video right now. I'm here to talk about some books. So I'll have the tree in the background. How about that? I'll go sit down here. Um, I am about 
over 200 pages i'm 230 pages into this it is so serious like guys if you're not in the mood for this don't read it definitely really bad things happen to them in the military and like it's her recovering and deciding like well i'm a different person am i even like in love with my husband and she's like but i need that other guy i was with to really like understand what i went through so it's a love triangle and it reminds me a lot of um that one lily came down that um Taylor Jenkins read book one true loves where she like falls for someone and is like a completely different person it doesn't know if she wants to be with the old person or the new person so that's definitely what this is I'm gonna read it finish it today I'm also about 40% into the guy on the left and it's super cute so far I love it I think I like it more than book one I love Troy I love how he really wants Clarissa and he's trying to respect her wishes of like kind of laying off but it's really adorable and i'm really 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 loving it i don't know if this will be five stars i just think it's depending on the ending um definitely not a new favorite i wanted to do this now so that i can like see if i get a new favorite by the end of the year but i'm definitely gonna finish this today it's christmas eve by the way i don't know if i said that um and then hopefully read wolf song tomorrow though i'm super busy tomorrow we're waking up opening presents going to church and then um at five i'm doing my cousin's christmas get together so um yeah it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow on christmas day but i have today i've already baked cookies yesterday and i baked stuff today already it's like 11 now parents just went out to my aunts so they'll be back soon my sister's sleeping because she worked last night she works tonight too which is sad she got christmas this year but it's all right so it's gonna be me and the dogs but they're adorable lily just came over is that miss lil hi <laughs> you're so cute Okay, goodbye. Hello. Oh, how's the book going, sister? Good. We have all four puppies. Hi. Miss Eva. Oh, jeez, tail. Hi. Everybody's awake. Everybody's awake. Are you trying? Oh, that's a bone back to my foot. I didn't know what Gigi was doing. Hey guys, I'm here to update you. I finished the guy on the. The left, the guy on the left. And I'm rating it four stars. That ending knocked it down a star because it was something where the main character is accused of something and like you obviously know from what they've learned about each other that it's not something they would do. But Clarissa was like, oh my gosh, I knew it all along. Like I can never trust you. And I'm like, but you've just spent the past like six months getting to know him and know he would never do that. That's what happened in an Alexa Martin book earlier this year that really made me mad. Like they accused the guy of something and the girl believed it, even though the guy like adamantly was like, I didn't do what they think I did. So that happened with Troy's character and I just hated how mean and judgmental everybody was to him Like we knew Theo was because of what happened in the first book and when it happened in this book It kind of made no sense because like Troy was never Like getting together with all these girls for like the whole book So I don't get why that was such a big part of his character in the first book, but four stars enjoyed it until the ending So yes, and, and let me grab my other book if you see Miss Lily I'm reading Wolf Song right now and I am obsessed. It's like Twilight. Really, it's like Twilight, but better. And Ox is like the most adorable main character, male character ever. The romance is so good. Even though like I'm halfway through, this book is giant long. I am 250 pages in and it's almost 500 pages. Um, the romance really hasn't gone anywhere. Like they finally admit their feelings and then something happens and they have to be apart so it's frustrating in that sense it's slow burn in that sense our main characters are like 10 and 16 when they meet and so typically i don't like it when they like know each other when they're young and the other character is kind of older and then they fall in love so they wait until um joe is 17 to admit any feelings which i've enjoyed normally if it's like a older guy with a younger girl i feel like really creeped out when it's like the guy's like oh yeah i like finally see it now and i'm like you've known her since she was 10 but it worked in this one so i've liked it so far werewolves galore and i love it like their werewolf mentality really reminds me of twilight with like the cullens so with like their vampire family and this family the bennett's so i'm really loving it so far i feel like it's gonna be five stars but something really crazy just happened so we'll see what i think about it as i continue and i'll update you guys when i'm done 
Hey guys, so I am in my childhood bedroom right now. Um, yes, I do have two blue walls and two pink walls. I was super extra in high school, but this is not my original bed. I had bunk beds in here, but obviously uh, I'm 26, so I'm happy my parents replaced those bunk beds with a queen size bed. But I am in here where I uh, sleep when I'm over here, but um, they are gonna redo these walls at some point because Pink and blue are not necessary walls for a guest bedroom. I am here to close out this vlog for you guys. I finished Wolf Song last night. I finished this 500 page book in two days, including on Christmas Day. And this was the best out of all of them I read. Am I covering Lily's face for you? She's so tired. This is hands down five out of five stars. This is gonna be on my top 10 of the year, if not one of the best books I read this year. This one had just so much complexity to it. And it's definitely more of a character driven novel. Um, it was slow. It, but it also spanned 10 years, so it was kind of fast, kind of slow, because like three years um, had to, well, a bunch of years passed in the beginning, and then three years passed around the 300 page mark, um, and the romance is so slow burn. I'm not even kidding you. It's super slow burn because of the kind of forbidden nature, because of the complexities of the uh, ranking in the pack, and if you love paranormal you're gonna love this i absolutely loved everything about the pack everything about their hierarchy everything about the world um i'm interested to see what's gonna happen in book two because they um kind of wrapped up the conflict in this book and so we'll see i'm happy with the way it ended i love ox as a character so much like he's just a gentle soul that was so misunderstood in the beginning everybody said he was stupid his dad left him and he just like never felt like he had a place until he was kind of taken in by these people and so ox is honestly one of my new favorite characters ever this is one of my new favorite books of all time like this book there's a reason why it has such high ratings. There is a reason why I know Chandler and Lacey love this book. One of my new favorites of all time. It's a male-male romance. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, definitely very, very slow burn because like other important things are going on in this story that the romance can't take first place. So love this one. So happy I picked it up. I already have book two in my card on Amazon and I want to order it and read it immediately. So for this readathon, I read four books that were the highest rated on my TBR. Coming in at number four, I would have to say is Heartbreak Warfare. Um, still give that four stars, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be, but I understand why people liked it. I knew where the ending was going. I felt like it was kind of obvious. So yeah, that one's a four star. Coming in at number three is the guy on the left, which I gave four star because of that conflict at the end, but it was still such a really good read, and I know why people adore this series and adore Kate Stewart. Obviously, I read two Kate Stewart books for this video, so she definitely has something going for her, but those two are four stars. Coming in at number three is definitely Someday Somebody by Emma Scott. That is going to be a five star read because that was so good. It's weird because I wanted to do an MM video or this video and I read two MM books for this video and they were both my top two five star reads. But that one dealt with some seriously heavy topics but they were handled so well. So I really really enjoyed that book. Definitely five stars. And coming in number one is definitely Wolf Song. Five out of five stars. Favorite of the year. One of my favorites of the year definitely. I'm so happy I read this for this video. Oh, and I don't know where this book has been all my life. How have I not picked this up yet? And I think my copy says it's published in 2019, but this says it's a second edition. So I'm assuming it was published, I think, 2017. I'd have to look that up, but it was amazing. And that is this video. Let me know if you want me to do it again. I can definitely do this again and read some high-rated books on my TBR. Um, let me know if you've read these and what your thoughts were. I'd love to know. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.